Sergeant. Sergeant, get your lieutenant, please. Sergeant. That doesn't make, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, he had a pepper ball. Everyone had pepper balls. Anyways. But that wasn't me, huh? I have it on a body cam. Download it. I just did what the judge asked me. I'm oh, sergeant. Bad luck. Got Karma's it. a bitch. Gotcha. Right? This isn't gonna go the way you're planning. Officer? No, no, that's not what the judge says. And if you pull back those transcripts, Corporal, you'll hear that. Wait a minute. Uh-huh. Sergeant? The vehicle's not stolen, Sergeant! Children that need our help. What? I have it on a body cam. Download it. It doesn't matter if my fault or not. They're gonna violate the bonds, and I'm not gonna fucking get out. <laughs> And you're fucking <laughs> four months, five months pregnant. This is bullshit. <laughs> you're talking to your wife? Okay, cool. Oh, boy. Just get home safe. Stop crying. Just get home safe, please. Okay? Just get home. Just go home. We, should, we shouldn't have came today. We shouldn't have came. Yeah, well, doing the right thing in Orange County is not the right thing. I know, Rania. I called everyone. But that doesn't change the fact. It doesn't change the fact. And the warrant's hidden. So the bondsman didn't see it. So... I need you to call mom. I need you to deal with mom. I need you to work with mom. I don't, I don't run. County SR 95. I don't give a fuck. SR 95. You need to get her out of here. I have a white male security uh, warrant. Could you send a road uh, unit to ops? I hear you. What? You have all my credit cards, but I. Yeah, so. 24 Bravo, you're on read well. 237 is safe. That's why they were there at the house the other day. The warrant hadn't gone through yet. Yeah, there was. The judge hadn't signed the warrant. It was still pending. It was still pending. It was in the system, but it was pending. Oh, man, my radio broke down. I, I don't know, Rania. I don't know why now. Okay. It's only been 11 years. <laughs> oh, 11. I, I, have, I have to go. Yeah. I have to go. Yeah. Tell her you're coming back. All right. I love you. Okay. Bye. I'm going to go ahead and secure it. You, you basically just came out here to register. Uh, yeah, wow. well, they kind of told me the car. Okay. But, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to make them nice and loose, all right? I'm going to double lock it in a second. It's full of assorted pool toys, so. Don't be like that guy out of jail. He got out of jail and caused havoc. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> you saw that? Yeah. <laughs> wow. He just, I don't know where you think he was going. I don't know how he, crazy. Got, he got inside, how they didn't find it. Right? It was hidden like... It was a big... Like, his, it's a layer. Uh, <laughs> they had a layer. Uh, <laughs> he had a layer. See, like this. Yeah, that's a little different, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> he had a layer there, buddy. Put it in there. Wow, that's got to be... 
He, that's desperate, you know, when you do that. Because yeah. he's about to go through that metal detector, then he said, oh, i got to do something. Right. <laughs> that's, where, that's where he's about to go. That's, where he, that's the area he was in. Yeah, I was like... So he had to do it now. And they, then they had flex cuffs on them, too. Right. So they had a little plastic stuff on them. Okay. I'm sure he'll patch it down when he get here. Yeah. I've been in that jail forever. I, I'm working. I put the kids in now. We're gonna sit over here. And get all your stuff. Get up until he, he arrives. Okay. And I was just on patrol. They said, you want to right you want to come work in the gym? I said, I'll come down here. Yeah. Now they got to come and do it. Yeah. Right back there. Oh, boy. Ready? Good. Get back on. This is stressful, boy. You still have Blair? Blair? Blair Drive? That's where they got me at? So they told you to come in today? They told you to come in today? Yeah, he said just go and register the vehicle. Oh, okay. And I, he, but he wouldn't tell me what vehicle it was. Oh. And I was like, all the vehicles I have are registered. Right. But now I found out, I guess. Uh -huh. They gave me an ID, but I didn't need an ID. I already got my ID. Oh, okay. So you're, are you a Silver Star Hiawaki? Yeah. Okay. I already got my, I already got my ID. You're, yeah, no, no, no. You're good. I'll put you back there. Any other changes? No, nothing, no. Okay, so go ahead and go, uh, Okay, and do you have a car, the Focus? Yeah, the Focus. Are you living in it? Yeah, right now it's parked up. I, it, it broke down before I went in, so I got to get it towed. Okay. Towed to my sister's house, so. Okay, are you still living in it or not? Yeah. At your sister's house? I'm, I'm, I don't really know now. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just staying, I'm just staying on the streets. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. So if you're going to be asked for the start of my walkie, that's fine. That's yeah, that's where the car's parked right now. Okay, and you're going to be sleeping in everything. Right yeah. Okay, if you get towed somewhere else, you need to let us know. Okay. If you, like, go and live with your sister, or if you park in your sister's driveway, we have to change your address here at the house. Well, what about the DMV? How are they doing that? I'm going to be coming in here. Are you move? Okay. Yeah. Because I might have to do that. Okay, well, you just come back. We're open. It's normal hours, 8 to 4, Monday to Friday. So as soon as I get it told. If, yeah, if you end up going to your sister's house, yeah. let us know and we'll give you one of these on the new And that'll be the 6913. Right huh? That'll be the 6913 address. Okay, yeah, but right now you're at Silver Star Highway. All right, all right. Right? Yeah. Okay, so you have to put on here what it is. All right. Because if you sign your registration and something on here is false, you can get in trouble. Now, nothing is saying. You are living on the streets in your car at Silver Star Highway. All right. Awesome. Anything else, Agent? No. And then I'm going to do a transient second also for you, and I'll have it waiting for you in the lobby, okay? All right. You're good. It's running out now. Oh, wait a minute. Just go yeah. stand out the window. Yeah. You're good. Stop the door. Come to the opposite window, please. No, she's, talking, she's talking to somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. Can I make one more phone call? Go ahead. Yeah. What you got to do? Yes, hi. It's Jeremy DeWitt again. Um, uh, they they arrested me. They said I have a failure to register my car. So the bond's 1500 
can you guys please at least start that process to see if we can get this done as quick as possible? They, 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 my wife's truck uh, isn't even in my name or registered to me at all, but they're saying that I violated, that they're putting a warrant, they put a warrant out for me for not, for failing to register my wife's truck. So they, they just cuffed me. I came to the sheriff's office to handle the registration and they just put a warrant out for me. Um, so it's $1,500. The problem is, is everything else that's going on. Say again. Uh -huh. Of course. Right. Yes, sir. Thank you. Right. Yes, sir. Bye. I have a $1,500 bond, but that doesn't mean they won't keep me. So tomorrow morning, first appearance, I guess. Yeah. 
Prosecute, Jesus. Now back again, I'm responding. It's been on the FDA stage. They have a That's our 95. Go for SR95. Hey, are you on the west side? This is the west side? Yeah. That's 10-4. Okay. Oh, we got up front. Say again? We'll go ahead up front since he's out there. Listen, you're transferring me now, so I love you. All right? Bye. Bye. I'll take that because he's going to put it in property. Anyway. 230, I'll commit you to stepping out. 234, go ahead. 
right. Hold on a second. Let me just kind of get an eye on him. Let this guy come in. Look like you're bringing a whole house. <laughs> you're bringing this house with him. All right. How you doing? Ready to report crime? Uh, talk, go talk to some friends over there. How you doing? You come to pick up this gentleman? All right, all right. Okay. Got his stuff right here. Hold up. Oh. He, he came to register and he had a warrant. He's the other guy with all the motorcycles. Oh. <laughs> uh, you do uh, You do have a motorcycle company? Yeah, I own the funeral escort company. They've been fucking harassing me. And Sergeant Biddle, the hillbilly redneck white trash that he is, keeps fucking with me. I'm sorry. Uh, all right. You guys understand. Are probably understand. Too, right? probably. This, this is all. Um, this is going to be for like, uh, I guess when he registered, he supposed to register all vehicles in his driveway. I guess the tech is out there. Help me, Sheriff. Come on, man. Please right, talk to me. Please. Come on. This right. is fucking killing me. Oh, you want to go ahead and check him? <laughs> Like he was gonna come talk. He can still come and talk to you while you're in the car. Man. I know. It just, this is just not making sense, man. Shit, I'm going to dine. Going to business for ten years clean, and then start in Italy. This is just too much. Man. You don't have any other weapons on you, man? No, 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 sir. No, I don't have any. Let me get you I'll right. give you a cuff spot. Bit of piece of what they want every day, huh? Ah. Figure out what they want, huh? How are you supposed to know? After <laughs> know. 15 years of the same car, my wife's had the same car for 15 years. No one's ever said, hey, you need to be ready. Now, on the strand alone, I don't know if you guys know if you're going to have to say, but you know, everyone's going to call and say, hey, man, you need to be ready. And now all of a sudden, Question. Um, when was the last time where you were out of the country? Oh, uh, I was in Egypt. Uh, it's been a year. It's been a year? Yeah, yeah. 
Right. You don't have any symptoms of no, no. COVID? No. All right. We just got to ask his questions, all right? Yeah. Just give me a second. I'm going to confirm your warrant. Then we should be good, all right? Tell us how to do Can you please copy uh, 2950? It's going to be a reference to email, loaded driver's license, Delta So they got you over here? Yeah, I just, I was, I just walked in there from the door. I was up. I don't know about deputy, yeah, that deputy of the day, I don't know. No, you should restrict it, you can't do nothing. This yeah. car, they don't know what the hell it is. <laughs> but yeah, so, no, let's get to it. Turn it with me. I'll show you a little bit, alright? Bravo. Go ahead, ma'am. Are you 1012 with Jeremy Charles DeWitt? Yes, Looks like mail 210 of 1980. That was? Sure, 
Lieutenant Officer 1027 out of Orange County as failure to register as a sex offender, 1500 bond. He's also shown as a registered sex offender with local flags of, gives the impression of an LEO performing traffic enforcement, violating traffic statutes, reckless driving, improper passing, impeding traffic, FIR board to the motors unit, sexual offender, if um, contact is made, you must notify on-call SOS agent and FIR. The local history of falsely impersonating an officer, <clears throat> using false fictitious name, ag assault with a deadly weapon, and resisting without. Did you want me to confirm? Please. Go ahead, man. You're 1027 for Jeremy Charles DeWitt, they confirmed sexual offender, failure to register, 1500 bond, just call warrants when you're 97 in the jail. 26, thank you. You're welcome. Did you say multiple warrants or one? Just one. Oh, okay. Sorry. It's okay, man. County 234. 234. Okay, trying to be a nice value. You can let me know if I need. Sam. And have SD cancel. Don't worry. Okay. County 234, Bravo. 
1057. White male 1015, Orange County 1027, Supervisor 26. Yes, I did. Get off the roadway. Get out the roadway. Get out the roadway. I hear you, brother. All right, get out the roadway.
Only 40? Sorry? You're only 40? One more time. I said you're only 40 years old? Yeah, why do I look older? No, not at all. <laughs> Not at all, man. So, which business do you own? I can't hear you with the windows open. I'm sorry? I'm saying, which business do you own? I own Metro State. All the funeral escort vehicles. Yeah. Well, that's nice, man. We've been doing it for 10 years, and all of a sudden, Sergeant Vittler said that we're breaking the law and started having me arrested. Oh. Have you tried to fix it? I mean, we changed all the lights to only purple. Uh, Steve Foster, your old attorney at the sheriff's office, told us to make it purple and orange. He even picked out the orange. We made the lights purple and orange. And then Vittler said that was illegal. Even though the sheriff's office told us to do it. Yeah. We tried. I mean, now it's, now it's just warrant after warrant for standing in the intersection and telling people to get out of the funeral and stuff like that yeah they're saying that's impersonating even though nowhere on me does it say police half the videos that they're using aren't even me they're saying that it's me they don't even see my face and they're saying it's me and it's not it's not even me okay i i wear nothing that says police or sheriff or constable or anything like that the lights are purple and orange and then you heard the, tw the when she read back the 27, mm -hmm. you know, that it's multiple impersonating and telling law enforcement, law LEO, and it's like, no, we don't. We're a funeral escort company. It, it says it on our units. It, it says funeral. I, I just don't understand. That's crazy. I mean, the the most we're guilty of is a traffic violation you know not not a felony impersonating a police officer because we're telling people to get out of our funeral we're keeping the family safe you know we're saying get out of the funeral and now we're being charged with impersonating saying that that's in acting as a cop but all we're saying is getting out of the funeral we're not we don't get behind them and lights and sign them and give me your license and registrate you know nothing like you know what i'm saying yeah Everyone's just bashing me, bashing me, bashing me. And now, apparently, that was my wife's truck. I, I'm not even on the insurance or the registration or anything. Yeah. I don't even drive her truck. I haven't. Orange, this is Hi, this is Deputy Victor 234 Bravo. Um, do you have a warrant for Dwight, um, Jeremy Charles? Victor. Victor? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'll get him right down to you. All right, thank you. Appreciate it. Welcome. How much do you weigh? 190. Okay, we're good.
On this side? Oh. Hey guys. Cool. Just hang on for a second. Just hang on right here. They just prior to entry, they gotta come and search it themselves, so. Talk to your attorney about it. Have they tried anything to fix it? Yeah, we're trying. We're trying. We're trying, but the state's not trying to listen. So I, I we're gonna have to go to trial. I, I guess I don't. I don't know. I mean, Florida statute for impersonating is a three prong. Mm -hmm. You have to dress and wear something that says police. You have to make somebody believe you're a cop, and then you got to make them do something. I mean, our vehicles and our uniforms are clearly marked that we're a funeral escort company. Our lights are purple and orange. I mean, it just doesn't, it doesn't make sense. To register sex what? offender. Tell you to register sex offender.